we're starting out, we're going to be talking about the slaves during the Mexican colonization by the Spaniards. So they originally were there as early as the 1520s. Over the approximate 300 years that it lasted, uh, the slave trade brought over 200,000 slaves to the colony. It wasn't until 1829 when the institution abolished the leaders of the new independent nation of Mexico. Uh, they were mainly used for the silver mines as well as the silver plantations. Over time, they were allowed to finally, you know, get married, get with different groups. Mostly they would find people from the tribe, although mostly it was more men than women there. Uh, during the time, this is when they slowly started to mix with the Spaniards. And this is where you get the next section of the group, which are the mulatos and the mestizos. Um, just the mixture of the slaves. So the death rates were high, unfortunately, um, again, because of what had happened. But for the most part, their spirits were never broken. Up for part two, more information on my Facebook page. The natives didn't fare off much better. During this time, from 50,000 to 300,000, which was about half the population of natives, passed away because of smallpox, which had been brought over to the Americas when some of the Spaniards had been sick from it, and without the defenses natural to them, many of the natives had passed away. By the time that Hernando Cortes came to finally do the Battle of Tichocan, most of the bodies were actually already laying there from the death of smallpox. The natives that didn't die from smallpox were then used as slaves. During this time, they would actually be branded by their face to signify who they were owned by. It was until a bishop named Bartolomo de las Casas suggested they should bring slaves in so they wouldn't be using the natives as much. He then regretted it when he saw how badly they were being abused, the slaves, as well as the natives um, during this time. More info on my Facebook page. About 90 to 93 percent of the Mexicans of today would be considered mestizos, which are a mixture of the Spanish and the natives of Mexico. The reason the numbers are so high is because during the time the Spaniards would force themselves on the native women and would then obviously have children from them. They would be illegitimate, usually. Um, about 95% of them were considered illegitimate to the point where people actually would have both mestizos and illegitimate be the same word, pretty much. Although they were higher than the natives, they would not have to pay um, taxes or the tributes as the natives would, but they wouldn't have any of the benefits that the Spaniards would. So they couldn't really have many businesses, they would have to work under the Spaniard and such. Again, a more detailed portion of this on my Facebook page, link in the bio, and get ready for the next part four. It is a bit more difficult to find information on the mulatos since they only make about 1.2% of the Mexican population. Mainly in the beginning, it was a mixture of the Spaniards with slave women that they would force themselves on, as well as they do with the natives. And then later on, a mixture of the same people that were the offspring of the forced stuff um, and they would intermingle with the natives and that's where the mulatos come from. Uh, they are still as of right now since 2015 trying to differentiate their culture from regular, not really regular but like more common known Mexico because there is again a small population but they should be recognized just as much. Get ready for part five. And now it comes to the last parts. The Creoles, who were the people that were of only Spanish descent that were born in the Americas, had obviously the higher information and higher power, everything else. Then the top ones would be Insulares, which weren't started at all. They were the Spanish ones that came from this from Spain to the Americas. Now, why is this important now? Why is it important to Bujiri and such? It's because of the colorism and racism that we have now today. Most people, when they think about it, as much other places, the lighter you look, the lighter and better you are. What's not true? Um, many of the natives that are still alive are punished and do not have the same rights as everyone else in the U.S., in Canada, and in Mexico. This is something that we should all be working on and trying to better and not continue the mistakes of our ancestors on the European side and to help the ones on our native side. More information on my Facebook page and much more detailed stuff in this one.